I'm working on a 2010 Volkswagen GTI with a CCTA 2 liter turbo engine. I um, just doing a quick video how to diagnose a bad intake manifold. Here are the faults that are typically stored. You know, you have you have misfire faults, and then you have an intake manifold flat position sensor. This one's usually stored, but not always. It doesn't always have to be there. But um, you'll have the misfires along with the leak in air intake system. So there's a lot of other things that can cause that fault and lean running faults. A lot of other leaks. Rear main seal can cause that. But um, if you have it together with your position sensor fault, it's more than likely going to be your intake manifold. A quick way to check is um, with the engine idling. You um, try to set up my light here. You uh, get your hand right at the, um, the point where it pivots, where the um, the vacuum actuator, where it where it actuates the door. There's a hole right there. You can see it right above the lever. If you stick your finger there and it sucks it in, then it's uh, the intake manifold is defective. Just right, the flashlight's heading towards it right now, right there. It'll actually just, it'll pull your skin in. It'll actually suck on your finger. So if that's the case, it needs an intake manifold. It's a good time to clean your intake valves. And, um, and they're not as expensive as they seem. They're a hundred and something dollars, I think, actually right from Volkswagen. So that's it.